Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Cardi here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Now, you are here for NBA 2K20 news. I would like to thank you for coming to the video. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Our goal is 3,000 likes. But today, we're going to be talking about NBA 2K17. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why am I coming to an NBA 2K20 video and we're talking about NBA 2K17? The reason for this is the screenshot that you are currently looking at is NBA 2K20. It is off screen shot with the cell phone, but you may notice somebody is in a paint that is named Anthony Davis with something under his player that looks somewhat similar to NBA 2K17's grand badge. Now, everybody knows in NBA 2K19, they named something called takeover where players were mad OP when they got hot, of course. Now, this looks like it was reworked to look like the grand badge, but it's so white, red, and yellowish orange that I believe it is still takeover. Now, I think that NBA 2K20 has reworked the design to have that under the player instead of on the side of the player. I believe it, it's more prominent. You know who is hot on the floor. You don't get mistaken at all. And I believe that that means that that player right there is hot. Now, what I can say to you guys is, with them bringing this back to NBA 2K20 from NBA 2K17, that gives a lot of people high hopes for park affiliations, park rep, and more. I can't say for sure if you should keep your hopes up, but with them reworking things to look like a game that a lot of people like to play online, that's some good things but we need to move on and show you something a little different this uh clip will be played multiple times this is of nba 2k20 that is danny green on the lakers danny green is going up for a layup against i believe that is lou williams and you can see the shot meter is yellow which i believe that is currently on team color I don't know if they'll keep it white or if they'll make it team color, if they'll have other colors like they did for NBA 2K19. But I know for sure that that shot meter right there is yellow. One of the Lakers team colors is yellow. And I believe that this is big for us because that shot meter is not from last year. That shot meter is from NBA 2K17. That stamina bar looks just like the stamina bar in NBA 2K17, just a little bit larger, just a little bit more profound. But there's another thing that you guys might not notice. When the player goes up for the layup and another player comes over, it looks like they get a proximity alert at the bottom of their player. A whole bunch of lines form around that player circle. I believe that that's the proximity circle. Now, another thing. You guys see Lou Williams go up for that contest, but Lou Williams doesn't get a red. Lou Williams gets a white bar around his player. Now, I'm not sure. This isn't confirmed, but I believe he got the white bar because it was a contest and he fouled him. Now, I would have thought that that player would have got a red bar because it's so heavily contested. Now, another thing, players always say when a player is coming over to help, Sometimes that player also gets the contest of the player that was coming over to help. So I'm not sure if he got the contest from the player that was coming over or if that was just a contest from Lou Williams. But what I can say is in this video, you see a lot of things reminiscent from NBA 2K17, which gives a lot of people high hopes. But I want to know your thoughts inside the comment section right now on what you think about this new shot meter and what you think about that takeover slash grand badge look to nba 2k20 i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget subscribe turn on notifications if you're here for 2k news this is the place to be we are closing in on 600,000 subscribers and i want to thank every single one of y'all i'll see you guys in the next video this is ikc signing out peace yeah you can't watch this whole video without subscribing